Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Innovate Yourself. My name is Ashish Saini. In today's session you will learn how to upload the real time data on the web server without refreshing the page. As you have already seen my previous video and in that video you may have seen that we were uploading the data on the web server which was a real time of a data and we were uploading the data but every time we want to upload the data or you can say we want to see the uploaded data we have to refresh the page again and again but what we want is we do not want to refresh the page so that we can check the data that we are uploading on the web server so in that case let's see how we can resolve this issue so for that let's move to the slide and let's see how we can resolve that so this is a circuit diagram which we have created in our last session for this interfacing of your soil moisture sensor with node MCU and now let's see how we can resolve this issue so in that case we need Ajax so what is this Ajax and how it is possible for it to upload the data without refreshing it so for that let's go ahead and see what is Ajax so Ajax is the asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So basically we use it so that we can request data from the server in the background with no page reload. So that's what we want. We want to upload the data on the web server without refreshing the page. So this is the issue that this Ajax will definitely solve. So we are going to use it in our today's session. And now let's talk more about this Ajax. So Ajax is basically a combination of an XML HTTP request object and the JavaScript. So in this what XML HTTP request object do is it will just send a request on the server and your JavaScript will upload the data on the web server without refreshing the page. So basically uh, these two combination will handle this topic and accordingly they will just upload the data in which XML HTTP request will just send a request on the server. So your XML HTTP request will send a request to the server so that it can accordingly upload the data on the web server. But uploading the data is not its task. Its task is to just request the server so that it can further process and further processing is done by the JavaScript that will just upload the data without refreshing the page. So these two parts will resolve this issue. And apart from these things, your Ajax can do different things as well. Some are, the first one is it can request the data from a server. Like I have already told you, it can request the data from the server as well. And it can receive the data from the server. So it can also send the data, it can also receive the data. So it can do both the things. And also it can just upload the data without refreshing the page so this is what we are going to do it can just send data to the server that is a backend process it will just send the data in the backend without refreshing the page and accordingly we can see the changes on the web page so in this way your ajax will work so this is all about the ajax now let's go ahead and just implement it in a program so for that just open the Arduino where we have just made the program so this was the program that we have created in the last session to upload the real time data on the web server but there was a problem that we have already discussed that we have to refresh the page every time we want to see the results on the web page so this was a complete program for that so now we have to make changes in this so that we can upload the data without refreshing the page on the web server or you can say the web page that we have created. Now let's move ahead and let's see how we can do that. So for that I am just opening the uh, program that we have created for uploading the real time data without refreshing the page. So let me open that. So here we are having the program to upload the data on the web server that is a real time data on the web server 
without refreshing the page so this is a program for that so here you can see uh, most of the things are very common to the previous program that I have shown you but the only difference is that you have to make changes in the HTML request or you can save the HTML web page that we are creating here so you have to make changes in that and rest of the things are almost the same so you do not have to make changes in that so for that you have to write almost these things as it is you do not have to make changes anywhere in this code after that you have to write all these things as it is you do not have make you do not have to make changes in this as well but the only thing that you have to make changes in here is that you have to make changes from here till here right so this is how you are going to upload the data so in this both your things will be done xml http request that is to request the server and the javascript that is to upload the real time data without refreshing the page so this is a complete ajax code that you have to understand and for that i will give you a link in the description so that you can better understand about the ajax code because this is a quite javascript type of a part and that is a different topic that we cannot cover in here so for that i will give you a link in the description below so that you can check there and accordingly continue with your project so you have to do it like that and after that what you are doing here is you are just taking this text file so that you can further load the data from there and accordingly you have to just pass on the string and all and this is a complete code for that in which this is the same thing that we have already done and after that you are starting with script that means you are just starting your javascript code so that it can do your backend process because in backend what we are going to do is we are going to just refresh the page and in the refreshing of your page you are not able to see anything that what's actually happening because refreshing is a backend type of a part and that you cannot see that what actually is happening so for that you have to understand the code only because in the code you can only see that what is actually happening happening but in the front side on your web page you will not be able to visualize uh, most of the things because in there you can only visualize if your data is changing right because we are uploading the real time data and we are if we are able to see the changes in there that means we are able to upload the data without refreshing so this is a complete project for that and don't worry if you are not able to understand the code i will give you a link for that as well so that you can directly check it according to your program and further you can make changes to that as well so this is a javascript after that you are creating a function to load the data and then you are using this callback so that you can upload the data after that you are creating a new variable that is a kind of an instance so you are going to create an xml http request that is to just request the server so you can further uh, refresh the page and after that you are just using this instance so that you can further check the state of your server that it is ready or not so in that case you are checking again two conditions that if this is ready state double equals to four that means you are checking that whether your state is ready or not so this four means your state is ready and you can further check on that so this will give you a result as four if your state is ready or you can say if your state is done with the uploading of your data and with the same you are having this dot status is equals to is equals to 200 that means you are checking that whether your this will give output as 200 so here 200 means you are checking whether your status is okay or not so 200 is a code for your okay which is a http code you can say so you are checking these two things and accordingly further applying the changes on your web page right so for that you are using this callback dot apply and accordingly sending the data so you can uh, refresh the page and next http dot open you are just opening the url and accordingly you are just uh, refreshing the page so this is just to refresh because you are again trying to open the same url that means you are again uploading or you can say you are again opening the same page which is also uh, another way to refresh your page so this is like that and after that you are just sending that so that you can actually visualize the data there function update data so these are the things that you will see in response 
So this is a complete program which will be used to upload the real time data on the web server without refreshing the page. So in this way you can check your code and accordingly work with it. Now let's do one thing. Let's just upload this code on my Arduino. Now let's just upload this code on my Node MCU so that I can accordingly check that whether I am able to see the changes on my screen or not. Right. So let's just connect the Node MCU to my system. Now let's connect my Node MCU to the system. So I have connected my Node MCU. Now just go to tools, select the board and go to port. Select the port number whichever you are connecting or you can say with which you are going to communicate. So this is already COM7 because I have my node MCU and the soil moisture sensor already connected to my system. So I do not need to connect it again. Now what? let's just upload it. So click on this and it will just start uploading your data. So here you can see we have uploaded the code on my node MCU. Now let's wait for it to connect. So it is connected to my system or you can say it is connected to the internet. Now you have got the IP address. Now let's go to the same IP address and let's check that whether we are able to see the changes or not. So let's just refresh it for the first time because this is the same code or you can say this is the same page which we have created in the last session. Now here you can see this is my soil moisture and I haven't dipped it anywhere so that's why you're getting the output as 0.00% now let's just insert it inside the soil which I am having right now and let's wait for the changes see this time I am not changing it I am not refreshing the page I'm not doing anything and it is automatically refreshing the page without being manually controlled see here is my cursor I am not doing anything and you can see you are able to see the changes automatically 55.27 55.37 so this is changing automatically right so this is the way how you can upload the real time data on your web server without refreshing the page or also you can say you have uploaded the real time data on the web server without refreshing your page so this is the way how you can do that and this is it for your today's session and I hope you have understood all the things very clearly but still if you are having any queries related to the topic then you can uh, surely make some comment or you can leave a comment below in the comment section so that I can resolve your problem at the earliest. And also you can suggest me if you want me to make some kind of a videos of your choice so that I can help you in any way. And I hope you have liked this video and if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos. Till then bye bye and have a nice day.